What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, the fans have spoken. We're gonna be looking at Tomato Head. He is currently in the item shop. He is an epic outfit. He does come in two edit styles. He does come with the back being special delivery. And he does also come with the Tomato Head challenges. So without further ado guys, let's get this review started. So Tomato Head. He is the first mascot to be released into Fortnite. We already have the Beat Boss, the Wacky Taco, but Tomato Head was actually the first one ever to be released. About a year ago, they did give him an edit style, which is basically a tribal Tomato Head. It's pretty cool. They just cut his sleeve and he has tribal markings around him. So pretty cool. In my opinion, the back thing itself is what actually makes the skin really well. It's just a delivery box for the pizzas he does make. But I still like it, especially because very simplistic it is all red. It looks really good with a lot of red skins. Does he match his rarity? Honestly, I do think he actually belongs as an epic skin. So much detail on the skin, especially with the new edit style. Now he has two edit styles. He has a backlink and it's just a really great skin. So what's my final rating on Tomato Head? I'm going to have to give good old Tomato Head a 6 out of 10. The reason I'm giving it a 6 out of 10 his head is a little bit too bulky for my liking. He is an older skin, so you could tell by the detail on the skin. It's not really that much until they, you actually play with the edit style. His detail actually does go up. But even then, you really can't save the skin for what it is. So without further ado, guys, let's get these combos started. For the first combination, I am using the default tomato head outfit with the Mer tank. I like the Mer tank. Both tanks actually go really good with the color scheme the skin does have. It's green and red. And then you have that sticky stuff that's on it, the yellow thing. It kind of reminds me of cheese, so we're gonna go with it. It looks really cool and it just matches the color scheme really well. For the Harvey tool, we're going with the fly catcher. The main reason why I have the fly catcher, it does have that bluish greenish look to it. Goes really well with the skin, and then it has the yellow that goes really good with the sticky stuff that I did mention before on the backlink. And for the glider, I'm going with the picnic. The picnic is all red, it does have a little bit of brown on it. And it really does look really good with the tomato head. For the contra, I'm going with the spectral essence. A very simplistic contra. Looks really good. Actually does fit tomato head really well. And for the rat, we're going with the tiger stripes. Again, green and reddish. Looks really good. Actually does match the skin really well. And that's about it. It looks really good with the skin. So enjoy the combo. For the next combination, I am pairing up Tomato Head and I'm pairing it up with the Master Portal. The Master Portal was obtainable during Season 8. The color scheme is red and green, goes really well with him. And then you do have the little solar of gold that looks amazing with him. And overall, very clean combo. And for the Harding Tool, we're going with the Revoker. The Revoker color scheme is almost identical to the Tomato Head. You were able to obtain it during Season 8 if you complete your 4 by challenges. And it just looks really good with him. For the glider, we're going with the palm leaf. The palm leaf is a victory royale that you did obtain during season 8. The curse scheme is all green and brown, so it looks really well with tomato head. And for the contra, we're going with the vines. The vines you were able to obtain it during your overtime challenges for season 8 it looks really good and just matches really well with the skin. And for the wrap, we're going with the pineapple. The pineapple wrap was obtainable for purchasing the Laguna starter pack. Looks really good. The curse scheme is yellow and green, goes really well with the skin and the backlink. So enjoy the combo. For the next combination, I am using the tomato head with the crown edit style and I'm pairing it up with the enduring cape. The enduring cape actually looks really well, especially because he does have those tribal signs all over his body which are white. The crown looks really good and it just matches really well with it. For the harvesting tool, we're going with the bootstraps. I like the bootstraps, especially because the pod that he is carrying is almost identical to the same color scheme as the shirt and his head and it just looks really good combined. For the glider, we're going with the lockstep. I just love this glider with the tomato head with the crown edit style due to the simple fact it is green, goes really well, it does have gold, and it just fits, looks like it's royalty. And now he does have a crown, so Tomato Head is a 
royalty for the control i'm going with the lightning a very simplistic control looks really cool and just goes really well with the skin for the rat we're going with the mayhem the mayhem gives the guns a very cool alternate style to them they look very old and rusted and it just looks really good with the tomato head so enjoy the combo For the next combination, I am using the tomato head with the Eda style crown and I'm pairing it up with the battle mask. The battle mask actually fits it really well, especially now that he does have a lot of tribal markings on him. Looks really good and the color scheme of it is almost identical to his head and it just goes really well with him. For the harvesting tool, we're going with the primal sting. The main reason I'm going with the primal sting is for the same simple fact he does have tribal tattoos. The weapon itself looks like it has tribal markings on it and just looks really good. For the glider, I'm going with the founder's umbrella. An umbrella that's all brown actually goes really well with the skin, especially because it does match the harvesting tool and the back knit side. For the contra, I'm going with the variant in flames. It is green and purple. Green being his primary color looks really good and it just fits the theme. And for the wrap, we're going with the emblem. The main reason why I'm going with the emblem is black. It is animated and the markings actually look like it's tribal markings. Looks really good and it just fits the theme. So enjoy the combo. For the last combination, I am pairing up Tomato Head with the Crown Edit Style and I'm pairing it up with the Fable Cape. The Fable Cape actually looks really good. The brown on the Fable Cape itself looks really good with the crown and then the red obviously goes really well with his head, his vest, and his knee guards. For the Harvesting Tool, we're going to go with the Moon Bone. I haven't really gave the Moon Bone a lot of love, so it actually looks really well with this combination, especially because all the tribal things he does have on. The crown, it just goes really well with it. And for the glider, I'm going with the palm leaf. The main reason why I'm going with the palm leaf, it is green, so it goes really well with his stem. He does have in his tomato head, the green in his pants, and his arms. And then the brown actually goes really well with the harvesting tool itself. It looks really good and just matches really well. For the contra, I'm going with the spectral essence. A very simplistic control, as I stated before. It goes really well with a lot of skins, and tomato head is no exception. And for the wrap, I'm going with the drift. The main reason why I'm going with the driftwood, it does have that texture of being made of wood, it does have gold, it just goes really well with the harvesting tool. So enjoy the combo. Those are the five combinations I found so far for Tomato Head. Let me know in the comments below which one's your favorite. Tomato Head was actually more harder than I actually thought to make combos for, just for having weird combinations, so I do apologize if the combos aren't up to standard to you guys. If you're new to my channel, subscribe. I post videos of your favorite cosmetic skins every single day. And if you want to support the channel, my code is EnigmaKid, all caps, two Ds, all together. You don't have to use, you don't have to use me, but use a smaller YouTuber that can really use the help. And with that being said, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.